Hey friends, today I am sharing all of my Dollar Tree hacks for a cruise. We're going shopping for a cruise at the Dollar Tree. Welcome to Freedom in a Budget, I'm Kelly and I am all about living a full life on a budget. I paid off $23,000 of student loan debt, I cash flowed a $30,000 wedding, paid for a Jeep Cherokee in cash, which was $25,000, and we are currently saving $100,000 for a down payment on our first home. And Skylar is excited. So today I'm teaming up with my girl, Budget Girl Sarah. She is such a dear friend of me. I have been binge watching her channel for about four years now. I watched her channel for hours and hours and hours when I was on my debt-free journey and this past September I actually met her. It was so much fun just to meet her in person. I felt like we had been friends for years and it was so cool just to just to spend some time with her and get to know her really well which was incredible. So today we're going to team up and we are talking about our favorite Dollar Tree hacks. So if you haven't checked out Budget Girl, go check out her channel. She's incredible. Let her know that Kelly from Freedom in a Budget sent you. On my channel, I get real personal. I show you line by line our budget, how much we're bringing in, how much we're spending. It, it gets really, really personal, but I love sharing with you guys and sharing exactly how we're making it work, how we're saving so much money. We're putting away three to $5,000 a month towards our down payment on our home, which is just incredible and such a dream come true. So I share grocery hauls, grocery tips on how to, we only spend $200 a month on groceries, how I lose weight on a budget, just our journey on weight loss, on budgeting, on different things, and just my life and different tips and tricks and just what we are doing and who we are. I love being open with you guys. It is, it's just so much fun. I absolutely love YouTube and this has become such a great hobby and business for me. So if that's something that interests you, I hope that you join the family and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like this video. It really helps out my channel. If you like and comment down below, please let me know your favorite cruise destination or dream cruise destination. I would love to hear from you guys on what is your dream cruise. Ours is a Norwegian cruise through the fjords of Norway. I am Norwegian. And so that is something that is just, we're so excited for. But an Alaskan cruise is probably second top. We've been on a couple Caribbean cruises and they're so much fun, but I live in South Florida. So Caribbean cruises, it's very similar to my normal lifestyle. We live less than a mile from the beach. So, you know, it's something that we see every day, but the mountains, like that is just crazy to me. So I'm so excited for the glaciers and everything. We're gonna go dog sledding. We're gonna go on a whale watch. There's a train that we're gonna do. We're we're going to go to I think it's British Columbia and there's like this tulip thing it's I'm so excited it is gonna be such a blast so we are pumped 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 for our cruise and Sarah is going to Mexico which is also a really fun destination it is her first cruise so we are teaming up together on our ways to save a little money cruises can be expensive yes I, I know that they're expensive but I love that cruises are all in one you know you can see different parts of the world and and our country which alaska is part of our country and see different parts of you know the world in our country and have everything included in the price you don't have to worry about rental cars you don't have to worry about hotels you don't have to worry about foods it's all in one price so they are expensive but a great way to hack that is by shopping ahead of time at the dollar tree so i will also have a full blog post for you guys down below in the description at freedominabudget.com where I'm gonna have some more cruise tips for you and more hacks that I didn't get into this video. So go check that out. Also on my Etsy shop, I have a vacation budget template for you guys, which will show you line by line how to budget for your vacation and everything that you don't wanna forget and how to do it and how to stay on budget and make sure that you do not go over budget because that is not something that you wanna do. So let's get shopping. Here we are guys, Dollar Tree. Let's go find some deals for the cruise. You're gonna to get to know your room attendant really well. So we always like to leave thank you notes and just cards of thanks just to just appreciate them and let them know that we care. And just a handwritten note to the room attendants really, really goes a long way. They super appreciate it. And you know, their job is they're stuck on a ship for six months at a time. So something handwritten like this just means a lot to them. Decorating the door is so much fun on cruises. It really helps kids know where the room is. These are backdrops for props. For like a photo booth 
but they were great for putting on the door. All the doors are magnetic, so super cute, different things that you can do to decorate the door, and that helps the kids know exactly when it is, and it's so fun to walk down the aisle and know exactly which door is yours, and to have something fun to come back to them to every name. If you're going on a cruise around a certain holiday, you can find different things like this. These are all for Easter, but if you're going around 4th of July or different holidays, these would be so cute for your door. They're little, just kind of cardboardy type of pieces that you can hang with magnets or painter's tape, and they are just adorable. So, so fun to celebrate birthdays or holidays on the ship. These are also great for decorating the door and it's something that the kids can color themselves and do as an activity and then hang up and then they're so proud of their own artwork. They have all different kinds here and they're so much fun. Here are some really cute dry erase boards that would be perfect for the door and leaving notes. They are magnetic so they're going to stick on the door as well as the walls in the cruise room. So here's some with different colors. They have a blue, orange, and this is great for like just reminders of don't forget sunscreen tomorrow or don't forget this or tomorrow is formal night, different things like that. So fun to leave notes for your spouse, your kids, anything like that, or just a have fun tomorrow type of thing. Here is so helpful. So these clothespins are really, really great for hanging up um, clothes that you need to wash or bathing suits that are wet, hanging them on the shower, something like that. These jumbo clothespins, these are amazing. These are good for your towels and clipping them onto the back of the beach chair at the pool or in port. We've used these many, many times and they're really sturdy and really, really good. These storage bags are awesome. They help with minimizing space in your suitcase and you can just kind of roll out the air. We're gonna be using these for our big down coat for Alaska because it's gonna take up a lot of space, but this really helps to save that space. Here are some mini containers of Dawn dish soap as well as Palmolive. If you want to get the soda package, they give you a reusable cup but I always like to wash it out and it just makes me feel better of having some legit good dish detergent to make sure I'm cleaning it properly before taking it out and filling it with my sodas. They have lots of different dish soaps here. Here's another Dawn one here, Palm Olive Oxy. So they are great quality and they're great travel size. So super convenient. These medications are a game changer just to have on hand if you get something with, you know, they, with itch or if you get bit somewhere, you need that. Some Tylenol, some Advil PM, some migraine, some sleep bed, some allergy, anything like that. Um, we've even taken these hot cold patches that, you know, if you're climbing up something and doing something super you know stressful on your joints or different things like that or your muscles and having this is really helpful to have just kind of alleviate that pain at night and acid all of these are so so helpful to have on ship having liquid hand soap is a game changer for me all they have in the rooms is just bar soap and i don't like to wash my hands with bar soap so i like bringing this antibacterial soap i just feel better i feel more clean and it's just something that i like to have in the bathroom always on ship. These travel antibacterial wipes are really nice to have on hand and just have them in your tote bag or have them in the room just to wipe down different surfaces, wipe down the remote. The remote has so much germs, it's disgusting. Um, we keep them so that if we eat something in port after you know handling an animal or different things out in the port, we can just wipe our hands and have it super easy, me mess free, they are awesome. These shower caps are really great for covering your shoes in the suitcase. We put them kind of upside down so that it holds your shoe and doesn't get your suitcase or clothes all dirty from your dirty bottoms of your shoes. They have individual ones here that are a little thicker or more plastic ones for two for a dollar. So super great deal on shower caps. Earplugs are vital for being on the ship, especially if you are not used to sharing a room with your dad or spouse or someone and they snore they're really great to have or if you're close to the engine depending on when you're coming in and out of port it can be really loud so definitely have earplugs just in case you need them these little mini 
laundry detergents are awesome. They are perfect for bringing on the cruise. I like to wash like two or three items typically just because I need some extra shorts or different things like that or things get dirty or spilled on. So having this and using the, the clips to hang them up in the shower just makes it so easy and convenient. At night the rooms get like pitch black so having a nightlight is really helpful for that. They do also have these super cute kid ones if you have kids that are so fun. Toy Story, Peppa Pig, and they are awesome. So having these night lights can really help make a difference in just making it easier if you do have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and not stumbling and tripping or waking up everyone else. Super, super convenient. Instant coffee to me is really important. I do not typically like instant coffee, but I do need coffee and just like one cup in the in the main dining room is not enough for me. I need two or three cups in the morning. And I don't know about other cruise lines, but Royal Caribbean, you only get a coffee maker in your room if you are in a suite. So we learned that the hard way and our last room did not have a coffee maker. So we were without coffee. So instant coffee. And then they have these little powdered creamers, which are really easy to use in different French vanilla and regular flavor as well. So instant coffee is definitely helpful. The Dollar Tree has tons and tons of hygiene items with toothpaste and everything like that. They even have a lot with the toothpaste right there for you and a little travel kit. They have ones for adults, they have ones for kids. They have so many different types as well as the flossers. I have forgotten floss on a cruise before and it was miserable not having floss. So those are really great, super convenient to have flossers and everything right there for you. I don't think I realized how expensive sunblock was until I became an adult, but it is very expensive. And the Dollar Tree has really great price for sunscreen. So this is SPF uh, 50 for four ounces. They also have it for kids. They have 30s, 30 sport, different ones like that. Those are really great. Also sunglasses. Sunglasses are great from the Dollar Tree of just having around the pool, something easy. If you lose them, you are not concerned. Such a great investment to have extra, extra, extra sunglasses on a cruise. Also goggles. Goggles are really great to bring for yourself, for the cruise, for your kids in the pool area. They also have a lot of toys and everything. If you're going to port and going to the beach, these are great. They are kind of small and compact and you can just blow them up on the beach. So tons of goggles and different toys are really great for playing around in the pool. A lot of times at night they will have different things with glow sticks and they sell them on ship, but they're so expensive. So bring your own glow sticks to walk around with and have for your kids is so convenient. They have the necklace ones, the bracelets, the wands, all different types of glow sticks, which your kids will just absolutely love. Even if they're the only kids, they will feel like the coolest kids on the whole entire ship. All right, guys, I hope that was fun. It was so much fun to go shopping and check out all the great finds that Dollar Tree has. Now, some Dollar Trees are different than other different dollar stores, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, all of those can vary a little bit depending on where you are in the country and the world. But that was my local Dollar Tree, and I hope this was helpful. Let me know down below some of your favorite crew tax, whether they be from Dollar Tree or just other cruise hacks in general, as well as your dream cruise destination. Let me know down below. Also, please leave the cruise ship emoji if you made it to the end of the video. I would love to hear from you guys. All right, I will talk to you later. Bye.